timeline explores the most memorable cold weather playoff game in sports history, featuring a legendary faceoff between the Dallas Cowboys, led by Tom Landry, and the Green Bay Packers, led by Vince Lombardi. Take a look, it's awesome. First of all, the cold was extreme. It was Arctic cold. Chill factor was like minus 57. We were not used to anything like that. I did not want to play that game. That field is treacherous in some places. It may be just a solid sheet of ice. Two great teams having an epic battle comes down to the final 13 seconds of the game. It was probably the greatest moment in football history for us. I think Don has suffered more from this because he feels it's the quarterback's job to lead the team to victory. My whole life would have been different. Your dad's life would have been different. You don't ever get over something like that. The reason I want to tell the story of the Ice Bowl is because I knew my dad was a football player, but not a lot of conversations about when he was a cowboy. I wish I'd asked more questions. Great way to spend a Friday night checking out the Timeline, the Ice Bowl, presented by Land Rover tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern and only right here on NFL Network. We are so far down the rabbit hole with the Panthers, we have taken the blue pill. All right, here's what happened. Peter did a thing earlier in the week with the Panthers receivers beyond Devin Funchess, calling them Shepard, Clay, Burson, and Frazier. Those are their receivers, that group that they have. It's the law firm. It's Peter had the little thing. It was a funny little bit he did. Well, then head coach Ron Rivera shows up with a shirt <laughs> the next day that someone made for him at his press press conference. It's an incredible thing. And then Schrager is wearing a t-shirt of Rivera wearing his joke. So you think that might be where it ends. Let's go to social. Ron Rivera says, hey, I let a real tweet. I like your shirt. The law firm. This head coach of the Panthers. They're one of the playoff. I Talk about that. Schrager's shirt. So look what happened next. It's a riddle wrapped in an enigma, a meme within a meme that is Ron Rivera wearing a t-shirt of Peter wearing a t-shirt of Ron Rivera wearing a t-shirt of Peter's joke. It's incredible. Incredible. What a moment we're having here. Happy New Year. Oh, that's amazing. Kudos to all the producers for that last one. That, I, can we go one more? Yeah. Oh, get it on. Peter, go get a shirt on. Come on now. Stop falling backwards, bro. I'm get Schrager can... where... I can't say the whole thing again. Get Schrager in the new shirt. Oh, my. At the end, the Russian nesting doll. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. House of Mirrors. Everybody. We'll see if Ron Rivera has a response. Hopefully he does sometime during the show. But guys, there's a segment on the show that we've not done in way mm. too long. It has been a long while since we've had story time here on the show. So let's head back to the campfire. Nick, can you give us a story, please? Yeah, I got yes. you. It's, it's cold outside, so gather around. I think comfy. I can hear the fire and the flames flickering like, yeah. in the background. So I'm going to take you back to... 2003, my rookie season, and it's a specific moment, a game that shaped my thoughts and really changed the course of history. Now, that season for the Minnesota Vikings, we started off on fire. We were 6-0, and and I thought to myself, this young 21-year-old kid, this is it? This is what the league is about? Kind of like Leonard Fournette, this isn't that hard. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to be okay. But then we go on to drop six of the next nine games and it was a struggle to make ourselves relevant in the playoff picture what happens is we go into week 17 here we are week 17 and this is why this week is very personal for me and a little bit of my hate for the packers started this weekend we're supposed to win the game and we're in the playoffs it's that simple you hear peter shaker say it over the last week or so win and you're in I lived it. We're walking in, playing against a Cardinals team that was 3-12, and 12, the worst team in the business. <laughs> I remember getting off that flight, feeling good, checking into the hotel. It's sunny in AZ. I'm feeling myself. I meet the family. We're kicking out. I'm like, you know what? We're going to celebrate when we get back to Minnesota. I'm going to go to the playoffs. This is going to be amazing. We start off, we're hot. 17-6. With two minutes to go in the game. I remember specific plays in this game that I'll never forget. Randy Moss catches a bubble route. And he turns and catches it with the reversed angle hand. Kind of like DeAndre Hopkins tried to the other day. And I thought to myself, oh my goodness, we got everything going our way. I remember Kevin Williams, who was an absolute dog at defensive line, had an intercession. I'm like, this is it. <laughs> We're good. And I'm talking on the sideline. I'm like, guys, we're going to party on the plane. We're going to get back to Minnesota. We're going to get into the playoffs. 
And then Josh McCown, he says, uh, 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 I want to play spoiler. And all of a sudden, I'm looking at the opposite sideline, and these guys are hype. They're celebrating. They know exactly what's at stake for us. And here's the twist about this. If we don't win, the Green Bay Packers get into the playoffs. And we're thinking, we're not going to let that happen. Josh McCown, he scores two touchdowns in the final two minutes. The last play I will never, ever forget. He drops back, and he's looking for the end zone. We had everybody back there. Last play of the season. Trying to make something happen. At this point, I'm looking there. There's no way this Hail Mary is going to land. A guy by the name of Nathan Poole comes down on the edge of the end zone. Corey Chavis, Brian Russell, two safeties that play for a team, my boys, they tried to push him out. He actually never got one foot down. So the force out rule, yeah. that was, that's the rule that had to be talked about in the offseason. And we're sitting here, we're looking at the screen. There's no replay. The rest didn't say, whoa, 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 wait a minute, we have to review this. The rest looked. They put up their arms. We hit the ground. Their sideline is celebrating. And we're thinking to ourselves, what the hell just happened? What? We're taking this major L. And what's crazy about all this is we get in the locker room. And as a rookie, I'm thinking, man, that ended very abruptly. <laughs> and I'm looking at all these vets. Some guys are in tears. Some guys never played in the NFL again. And I'm thinking, man, I have a long career ahead of me. I get on this plane. To this day, the worst flight I've ever taken in my life. I've had more turbulent flights that were more comfortable than this <laughs> flight. It was the most uncomfortable because guys were in such pain, such agony, so emotionally distraught off of this loss. And I got home, and then I hear about the Packers celebrating. And you see these clips of them rejoicing mm -hmm. after they find out the news that the Minnesota Vikings let the worst team in the NFL bump them out of the playoffs. Nathan Poole, he gets the key to the city temporarily. <laughs> That's the, the Packers host him in the first round of the playoffs, so they're showing off this guy that beat us. So the Packers home. host him <laughs> frustrated, That's frustrated. Cardinals wide receiver hosted by the Packers. At the Lambeau ultimate Vegas. twist is this is why I said it changes history, because ever since then, I had this hate for the Packers. I always respect them, had this hate for them, because we let them in. Secondly, that game, it bumped them out of the number one draft pick, the Arizona Cardinals which Eli was the number one pick, which they would have gotten Eli. Oh. They end up picking third. They end up getting Larry Fitzgerald. Uh. So one game, what? one catch, knocks us out of the playoffs, puts the Packers in, makes Nathan Poole a hero, Eli. He goes to the Giants, Larry Fitzgerald, the legend, lands in Arizona. And that right there is my Week 17 count.